The Gibbs Museum of Art has an exciting lineup of programming scheduled this month. Joining me is Becca Heister, Director of Education and Programs at the Gibbs. Welcome back. Hi, thank you. Uh, you got a busy summer ahead of you. We do, certainly, and yeah. July is gonna be, gonna be another busy month for us. An excellent way to spend hot days inside looking Definitely. at some awesome art and doing some fun things. Definitely. Uh, well, I have to say, so the first event, um, the the photography that you're featuring just really strikes me. It is so cool. Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about this upcoming show. Yeah, so our first event coming up in July is on um, next Thursday, July 7th, which is a collaborative concert with New Muse Concerts. And they are um, performing a couple of songs inspired by the William Eggleston exhibition that's on view. And so William Eggleston is known as the godfather of color photography, one of the first photographers to bring color photography to a fine art form. And his images show kind of little vignettes and scenes of the South. And uh, so the director of New Muse kind of took that as her inspiration. Yeah. So it's gonna be Dvorak's American Concerto and then a contemporary Southern composer as well. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. You, you describe him as, as being a Southern photographer, which obviously he was. He's from Nashville, I believe, um, and he's still alive. He's 82 years old, which I did a little bit of research about him, and he really had such an eye for these images that were so specific to the time mm -hmm. um, and the colors. Mm -hmm. when you talk about, you know, when we think about photography and how color plays, well, Ansel Adams, you know, his black, black and white, white images, mm -hmm. but then with Eggleston's mm -hmm. color photography was just so vibrant. Yeah, the colors are really vibrant. And interesting, um, a little note about him is it said that he ever only took one image. He didn't take like a series of images. He would look at a scene or at an object and really think about it and kind of move around it, find the exact spot he wanted to shoot from and, and take that one. And they all looked so natural. Mm -hmm. like it, just, it was as if you were to see that person yeah. on the street or something or yeah. that moment in time and, and he just captures it mm -hmm. so perfectly. Wonderful. And it's, it's a really great show. That one's on view through early October. Um, and then along with the concert that we have at the Gibbs, which is actually gonna be inside the exhibition in the Rotunda, which is fun, um, we have a free concert preview with the Charleston County Public Library on uh, July 6th, and that's at the main branch at 3.30. Oh, very nice, all right. Uh, moving on to July 14th. Yep. Um, so you're gonna be doing your summer in film, and which is the film that you're featuring this time? Yes, so this is the third in our film series called Gibbs Film in Focus, and we're featuring um, School Ties, the theme this summer has been college days or college towns, so looking at different uh, films that talk about the college experience. So we've explored HBCUs with School Days and All Women's College with Mona Lisa Smile. And oh, so yeah. School Ties is looking at anti-Semitism anti on college campuses. And then let's move on to July 28th. So you're going to be doing an in-person town hall. Is mm -hmm. that right? So what is this about? Yeah. So this is a collaborative program with the Avery Research Center at the college. And so this is a program that's inspired by another exhibition we have on view right now, which is William H. Johnson's uh, Fighters for Freedom. And inspired by a particular painting in that, it's called Women Builders, and it's a painting that features five or six African-American women who contributed to um, either schools or uh, fought for freedom in, in various ways. And so working with Avery, we are um, inviting a host of um, black female community leaders mm -hmm. in the Charleston area and the Low Country to talk about what fighting for freedom means for them, how they build community, and um, it's going to be an interdisciplinary conversation with both artists, architects, um, community gardeners, and just other civic leaders. Sounds wonderful. So it's titled "For Which It Stands: Brick by Brick, Black Women Breaking New Ground," both literally and figuratively. Definitely. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much. Yes. Is there anything else that we missed? Well, no. The the town hall series is free okay. um, for everyone and that one is going to be in person and virtual. Wonderful. All mm -hmm. right. Well, thank you so much for that. It was good to thank see you. Thank you. Again. Yes. Thank you for having us. We're back after this.